we're making sure that we're not obligated to the inmate, that we're not dependent on the inmate. But that's why we're put in this position. We have to be better than them. Because if we don't respect ourselves, we can't expect the public to. You guys tune in another episode of Tear Talk. So I want to feed in to the scenario I posted yesterday. Imagine being an officer working a unit by themselves, a lockdown unit. And as they're doing their tours, they see an inmate trying to kill themselves. So feel free to go back and check it out. It's an issue where we had an officer that saved an inmate's life, but in the process of him saving the inmate's life, he violated policy and procedure. So quickly, the scenario is the officer's doing a tour, catches an inmate trying to kill themselves, calls the code, no response because the team is handling something else, tries to call the code again, still no response. So this officer gets the urge to save this inmate's life. The officer has the keys on his person. So the officer is able to open the cell door and save the inmate's life. So the question is, what do we do with this officer? Do we recognize this officer for a job well done? Great job, you saved the inmate's life. Do we uh, write him up for violation of policy and procedure? Because policy and procedure says that this officer must have backup before opening up that cell door. Now remember that, that's key. This officer must have backup before opening up the cell door. So should we write him up for violating policy and procedure or should we go back and check policy and procedure to see if anything could be fixed? So we're putting it back on management now. So now check this out, here's my opinion. Most of the answers I believe were right on point. Gotta write up the officer. Sad to say it guys, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Unfortunately, because the officer, when in an effort to save the inmate's life, he put himself at risk, he put the safety of the unit at risk, and ultimately the safety of the facility. So there is a violation of safety and security that must be addressed. Now, however you do address it, there has to be some form of discipline. The officer needs to know that the actions cannot happen again. But there's something else I want to address, and we'll keep this quick. The officer had the keys on him. That's the problem. Management needs to go back and say, well, if... He could only open the cell door with backup. Why are we giving those officers the key? Why did the floor officer have that key? Remember, guys, we're in a, in a position where we want to protect. We have that urge. We have that compulsion. So when you're watching someone hang themselves, it's very hard for us to sit there and do nothing. So now we're waiting for back backup, and we have the means to jump in and save that life. We're going to jump in and save that life. So in this case here, management giving the officer the keys aided the compulsion for that officer to save that inmate's life. So management needs to go back and rewrite policy and do what they can to eliminate that compulsion. As always, guys, the show is Tear Talk. Please, guys, if you haven't subscribed, interact, engage, comment, hit that bell. The bell's going to notify you every time I post up a video. Love you guys. Stay safe.